In this video, I'm going to talk about the equality of complex numbers. So you've already been introduced to complex numbers, and you know how to write them in standard form, a plus bi, the real part coming first, the a, and the imaginary part coming second, the bi. Also, a and b are both real numbers. So now let's go ahead and talk about the equality of two complex numbers. So take a look at the equation that I have written down. In order for this equation to be true, what sort of characteristics do these two complex numbers, a plus bi and c plus di, need to have? Well, the equality property of complex numbers tells us that in order for two complex numbers to be equal, their real parts and their imaginary parts must be equal. All right, so in this equation, I know that the a and the c have to be equal to one another. Similarly, the bi and the di have to be equal to one another. But of course, if the bi and the di have to be equal, really I'm only considering the b and the d, since both have i's with them already. Okay, so we can apply the equality property of complex numbers to set up and solve equations that say that two complex numbers are equal. So we're going to look at two quick examples. The first one's going to be a plus bi equals negative 15 plus 9i. All right. Well, I see on the left side I have a complex number in standard form, a plus bi. I'm just not exactly sure what a and b uh, you know, represent. On the right side, I have negative 15 plus 9i. Complex number, I know all about that guy. So if these two complex numbers are equal to each other, what do I know must be true? Well, the real parts have to be the same. So a has to equal negative 15. And similarly, this positive bi and this positive 9i also have to be equal. So I can say b equals 9. Okay, and that's all we have to do for that first example. The second example, let's slide up here a little bit, is going to be 3a minus 2, we'll put that in parentheses, plus 4bi, and we're going to say that equals 19 minus 12i. Okay, so let's figure out which parts are the real parts and which parts are the imaginary parts. So anything that has an i is going to be considered an imaginary part. Okay, so that's a plus 4bi and a minus 12i. Those are the imaginary parts. Okay, so anything without the i will be the real part. And that'll be my 3a minus 2 and my 19. So I can go ahead and write a couple of nice equations. So 3a minus 2 equals 19. Also, 4b equals negative 12. And in solving these two equations, I can figure out values for a and b that will make this initial equation true. Okay, so let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides. So 3a equals 21. A quick division tells us that a is going to be 7. And for the second one, a quick division here, tells us that b is going to be negative 3. So there are the two values for a and b that will make this equation true. So to summarize, two complex numbers will be equal to each other as long as their real parts are the same and their imaginary parts are the same.